Yo, what's up YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So we're just gonna be doing a little video on some of my Power League games today. And I actually had a really bad day in Power League to be honest. I've been playing it a ton the past week, but I was actually second and I was very close to first and we went all the way down to 27th and now we're back up to 14th. So it's kind of you go up and down a lot like you can't really control it sometimes It's pretty silly, but uh, yeah, we got some really good games So I figured I'd just like record it and get a YouTube video going for you guys and first game is gonna be against crying man on Kaboom Canyon So we're gonna jump into that one. All right guys, so it is a little bit of a Unorthodox draft here. So usually you don't really see Pam on this map but I think it's pretty good into the mag and the amber and you guys will see like this map I think is ideally you want more damage than we have but it's definitely all about control and like just controlling the grass a lot of the grassy maps are just like holding the mid and uh yeah playing around the objective so I'm gonna get on crying man because I definitely counter him the hardest out of all of our brawlers the only one that kind of does pretty well into me is penny so I want to stay off her as much as possible but once I get my healing turret you guys will see like the amber can't really kill me as long as I'm like not just standing in all the shot and stuff like that like I'm just kiting it back and forth like you'll see right here uh, it just can't really do anything to me so it's gonna have a really tough time and you know I'm just kind of enjoying myself if it ever gets too close I can just press my gadget but I want to save those for crying man because he does do a little more damage than the amber uh, especially gets if he gets up close with his super so we're just gonna play in the corner and my teammates are doing a really good job as well here and you can see i think at this point i'm gonna pinch crying man i want to get venom on the safe to do a bit of damage uh but he is gonna go down and at this point i see that i can get my turret set up a little more and you know it is heist so i'm gonna gadget crying man but he did get that super off so i'm just gonna try my best to stay alive here and i just turn on the amber and i kill her in the corner i get my super out as well too Crying can't really do anything, he's just given up, he's left me. <laughs> so I want to stay up because I do have a tree and the penny can pinch me, so I'm just going to go back and kill Crying Man because I see my teammates are losing a little bit of position and just kind of help them up the map because uh, we are only up by 30%, so we don't really have high damage like I was saying. It's really controller comp. And uh, yeah, I want to get another Pam turret and just kind of do what I did before. Just kind of set up in one of these corners and just keep them back and help my teammates get up the map. Because Crying Man's doing a really good job on the other side, just kind of pushing everyone back. So I'm going to throw my turret there. I have the star power where it does damage. And uh, I will go down, but I think it's fine. I traded and I got the Penny Mortar. It was in a really dangerous spot. So uh, yeah, I do lose my treat, but uh, we're up by like 15. They don't have a ton of damage either. So we just gotta hold them back and the Penny's just gonna walk in a straight line. She's out of barrels, I can just walk in her face. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just team wipe and we'll win by like 10%. So, you know, really well played from everyone on my team. And Pam, a little unorthodox, like I said, but I think it was a good pick into that. All right, so the next game is a lot more sweatier. It's against Bobby and Chino and uh, Evelyn. So Bobby and Chino, obviously really good comp players. Evelyn was like number one in the world on ladder not too long ago. My team, I have Nathan and Hunter BS. Uh, Nathan played comp a bit and Hunter, I'm not like super familiar with, but I kind of, we know who it is when we play against good people on ladder. So uh, I knew I was against Bobby and I knew I was against Chino. So I'm just going to run up and try getting my super for the next round. And they actually do something really sneaky here, I think. So yeah, he jumps over and they gadget in our bush. I do have my super, but they're going to kill my teammates. And I know I have to line them up. So I hit Bobby over there too. And I try going for Evelyn. Unfortunately, I do miss her, but my super was really good. Uh, and it is going to be a 2v2 because of that super. So I do think they kind of have the advantage until Grom gets his super. But, uh, yeah, I can't really kill the Bonnie with my super. I can get her low before the smoke comes in, but I really want to go for Bobby here. Um, if I, I have the shoot through wall gadget, so I want to hit him once and uh, just get my super, and then I can go for him again. Especially if he's in, like, a little narrow passageway that he can't really escape from. So I'm going to push them back, and that was my last gadget, but I think it's fine. We got some control off of it. And, uh, yeah, I'm just building up my super, like I said. Nathan uh, should be getting his soon as well. And we're gonna do a really nice combo there on Evelyn. Didn't really have time to react. And uh, I'm just gonna try getting my super off of Bobby here. He knows not to give it to me, so he's just gonna die to the smoke. But uh, yeah, really nice kill there. 
So they won't go for the, the cheese strat this time. They're going to go the long way around. And uh, I kind of prefer this way. <laughs> We're super cautious about it. Like, everyone's just checking all the bushes. Hunter's being very thorough. You know, I'm just there to double check because if someone is there, he's not going to trade back with them. So Mandy does do a lot of damage. It is kind of hard to hit shots up close. So I just want to make sure I'm there to help out if needed. Uh, there's not really a rush. It's going to be a stalemate like this for the most part. And uh, if it does go to the end of the round, we do lose. So we need really aggro position here. So we're doing a good job. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to try getting my super, like I said. And Bobby, he's going to throw his super really early. I don't really like that. Uh, I usually try waiting till it's like a confirmed kill on Grom or like the end of the round because I think the super is just so good. And you don't really chain it back. So I am going to miss my super on Chino. Sometimes with Mandy supers, you kind of have to guess a little. But uh, nice TP from Nathan, and I'll manage to snipe him while he's gadgeting down. Nathan and Hunter are going to go aggro there as well. Uh, so the game is definitely ours at this point. Just uh, got to finish Evelyn. And uh, yeah, pretty clean game from us. All right, guys. Uh, the next Power League game that I want to show you is Knockout again. I'm going to be on Buzz. And uh, yeah, clearly I had last pick. So I needed to go something that was good into Carl and good into Sprout. Um, because, you know, Buzz isn't the best into RT, but uh, those two are the threat. So I'm going to gadget across and I will trade, which is really good. Um, but I will get my super, you know, obviously if I have my stun there, um, I think I can get out or at least like, you know, do a little more. But I do get the kill, which I think is worth it, and I get my super for the next round. Uh, I think they could do a little better in the 2v2 here, honestly. But Destroyer is getting some good jukes off, and, uh, you know, they are two pretty super dependent brawlers as well. So as long as you can get some Gene Pool and uh, maybe some Mr. P Porters as well. And, you know, they're getting a few hits, so not the worst. Uh, we're definitely a game two, game three kind of comp. We need our supers, I think. All of our brawlers. Um, so yeah, it is pretty hard in knockout sometimes when you don't have a thrower, but uh, gene pull is a good way to kind of play into that. And you know, I went buzz, so I realized there's this one tile of grass here, and I'm gonna be super patient, patient because the, this is the second game. So if we win, uh, we're up one nothing right now. But I was just pranking them the whole first game too. So I'm just like lining it up. I find Cat finally, my patience pays off, and I'm gonna get my super back as well. So as long as my teammates don't die here, you know. Uh, I don't think I'll take any chances though like if I can super someone like I will be supering them and uh, Yeah, so I am just gonna team wipe kind of and I didn't want to take any chances once again Like I tried catching the RT off guard um, But I will get my super back because RT can two shot me like very easily So uh, yeah, I wanted to catch him off guard. That's why I just went right away as soon as I killed the Carl as well um, So yeah, we should be getting close to gene pull at this point and I think as long as they don't pull like the RT uh, like super, they should be fine with it. So, you know, Falcon's doing a good job poking us out there. We do have the Mr. P porters and there's nothing for me to do, right? Like you don't want to go too aggro. You kind of wait for the, want to wait for the map to get smaller with the smoke coming in. And then there's like less chance of you messing up on like these brawlers like Buzz, Fang or something like that. So it's just kind of like hang out, wait for someone to make the first move, and then just kind of uh, react off of that. So the Carl is going to be over there. Just uh, I do want to be on him, but it's not the end of the world. And I'm going to try getting some sort of position here as well. And I'm going to try go for the RT just because I have an angle on him. I see you shooting over there, and I get a really nice stun on him. Otherwise, I think we lose, but that was like perfect. It was like right in between his shots. So I know he's like not paying attention to me um, and we're going to win the game off that. So yeah, really nice buzz game there. All right, guys. So this is going to be the last game of the video. I just wanted to show you one of my favorite picks in the entire game right now. So I do play a lot of power league, like I said, at the start of the video and Stu is very good. Long dash Stu on this map into like throwers. If you don't have a good thrower counter and Shelly and there's a ton of those. So I just, you just glide like all over the map. Like look at that, I'm across the entire map. I have a wall break too. And I'm just like gliding on them, you know? Like it's really hard for them to play into and you can do it on high ping too. Obviously like lower ping, it's better. But every time I'm on EU, I'll play like long dash too if it's like a good matchup. And uh, I don't think it's really like ping like 
you don't need good ping to play long dash too. Short dash, 100%, but long dash, you can kind of just like make plays. And uh, you can see I'm going to dodge the clay pigeons as well. My team's doing really good. And uh, yeah, we're up to a really good start here. So nice super from Brock as well. And with Stu, it's hard because you have to focus on like your supers, which is movement, and then your regular movement as well. So it's kind of like two things to worry about as once. Um, and you can see my Brock almost gets another kill there. He did go down, so that is going to make the game pretty close. I'm just going to open up the map. And uh, yeah, I wanted to just bait out the Shelly super there. And you'll see I'll do like a double dash with the long dash. That was pretty sick. Um, and... Yeah, I think my Brock might go down here. He's getting kind of low, but he's doing good just staying up. And uh, I do have the long dash. And yeah, I just, like, I want to keep the pressure on, but I don't want to die, obviously. I do have four stars and the blue star. So as long as I'm not feeding super hard, and, you know, Frixie's a really good player, so he's not going to let me, he's not just going to give me hits for free. So I'm trying to look in for, like, my opportunity. And I know he's going to, like, look, he thinks I'm going backwards, so I'm going to walk forward there and just kind of trick him a little bit. And I'm just trying to get a hit. Once I get a hit, like, you know, I can just glide everywhere. And we are going to take him down. You know, a little celebration here. But I think that was, like, some pretty clean stew gameplay. Like, I like the beginning a lot, just dashing around everywhere. So if you guys are stew fans and you play this map, I think you guys should try it out, depending on the comp. It's good into throwers. You just gotta, like, controlled aggression. You can't just run it down. It's hard on this map, but uh, I think it's a pretty good pick. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Nice and simple, just some high-level Power League gameplay with uh, some faces you guys recognize. If you guys like the video, please let me know. Uh, this type of video is pretty easy for me to do, so I definitely do more if you guys do like it. Anyways, guys, see you soon. Peace.